This video is a guide showing you how to install the IA Connect Local Agent on your worker and it is also available as a PDF in our Agent and Directory Installation Guide that you get with the IA Connect package. To start, we need to set up a worker in our orchestrator. To do so, we press New Worker in the main page and fill in the worker name, which must be the host name of the virtual machine you are going to use. The only other setting that we need to look into is the connection type. The default connection type between an IA Connect worker and orchestrator is Azure WCF Relay. This is an outbound secure HTTPS connection from the worker into Azure Service Bus and is automatically set up by the orchestrator installation and doesn't require any firewall rules to be changed. Only your IA Connect orchestrator can connect to your workers. All of the required security was automatically configured when you installed the orchestrator. Azure WCF Relay works for both on-premises virtual machines and cloud-based virtual machines and we highly recommend that you do not change this option to the other connection methods unless you have a very good reason to do so. Everything else can stay set as default and here we can already download the answer file we will need later on to install the agent. Once we've done that, we press save and we should see our workers set up in the orchestrator. The next step before we install the agent is to add the IA Connect license key in the orchestrator. Go into settings and press the worker license option. Select add new license. You can call this license whatever friendly name you like, better if related to the worker. And insert the license key that Ultima has sent you and press create. Now we can go look for the worker answer file we previously downloaded in our file explorer. Now what we need to do is copy the answer file and paste it in the same location as the IA Connect agent installation file, but within the worker environment. So make sure that you are connected to your worker and save the file right there in the local agent folder as is shown now. This will make the file automatically link into the installation process that we will start now by double clicking the file here. We press next and tick the checkbox right here. Next again. Over here, we confirm that in this case we are installing the Power Automate version. But next, as you can see, here is where we answer file starts populating boxes automatically, so we don't have to go and fetch all this information. You can see the Azure name and access key are filled in, which is so much easier than go and look for them yourself. We go next. Now, here, because we are installing it in the machine, we want it to pick up the host name by itself and leave the selection as system default unless you have specific network configuration that requires you to manually override this. So we press next. Now here it gives you the option to select auto log on, which we highly recommend to turn on specifically if it is a production worker you're setting up. You will have to fill in username and password with the account info you will be using to log in as the worker for your automation. So here I'm filling in my own account name and password and then we click next the unlocker option is useful when installing the agent in a production worker so check it if you need to it will automatically unlock desktop when automations are running in this screen we can keep all the options you see ticked as they are standard the top one mainly is a must have for production worker to avoid an extra step when running automations choose here where we want to install the agent and press next one last time then we click install and in a heartbeat it's all done In our desktop, we should see the shortcut that has been created by the installation process. When we open it the first time, it looks like the agent is unlicensed, but it does take around 20 seconds for it to connect to the orchestrator. The agent box will close automatically if not used, and you can find it always here on the right side of your taskbar. If you open it now, it should show that it has been licensed and it's operational. And this is how the orchestrator should look once the worker has been connected through the agent. And that's it. You have successfully installed your IA Connect agent in your virtual machine.